All right, now I'm going to turn my attention to health in a second where we have raised concerns about two things. The absence of vaccines, but also the lack of doctors in a particular region. And I feel we need to do a quick interview on this before we, we move on back to our discussion. So this morning, Beverly London reported that the Wa East District had only one doctor to cater for 90,000 residents. We thought that was very serious. So we've called Dr. Kinsley Pascal Mwin, who is the Wa West District Director. Now I'm confused. I thought this was Wa East. Let me just clarify. Dr. Pascal is the Wa West District Director of Health. Doc, welcome. Good morning. Good morning and thank you, Bernard. So are you Wa West or Wa East District Director of Health? Just to clarify. Yes, Wa East. Why is fantastic. So there was a report yesterday that uh, you had only one doctor left in the district. Is this correct? Yes, that's very true. Wow. For how long has this been the case? Okay, so Bernard, let me just give you a brief background of uh, what is district for the benefits of those who do not have inside in the what is district. So the what is district is one of the 11 districts in the Upper West region. Uh, it has a total population of 93,561. And uh, this is the third largest uh, district in terms of population in the Upper West region, and also the second largest in terms of uh, land uh, mass size in the region. Uh, the district currently has 10 uh, health centers and then 38 ships compounds. We do not have a, do not have a, a polyclinic. And so this is the only district within the region that cannot provide what we call emergency obstetric and newborn care, which has to do with uh, surgical interventions when uh, uh, they need be. Um, I am the only serving doctor in the district. I serve as the district director of health services and also do some clinical work in the district. The district was created over 14 years ago, but as of now, we do not have a hospital or polyclinic. And because of that, many of the doctors that get posted to the what is district, sorry, uh, some of them come, and then when they see the nature of the district, they go and they come no more. And this has been ongoing for, for more than five years now, I should say. I joined the district uh, some six months ago uh, when I was reshuffled from one municipal hospital mainly because I am a doctor so that I could provide uh, both clinical services and administrative services at the district. Uh, I recount an unfortunate incident sometime last year, that's six months ago, uh, when I arrived in the district and uh, I was going on my familiarization tour to one of the health centers. Uh, this was a woman who was referred from the chief's compound. And Bernard, the nature of the road and also the communication network in the district is very, very bad. Referral was initiated early, but it took up to five hours for this pregnant woman to get to the referral facility. That's pulling a health center. That's even not a hospital or polyclinic. Upon arrival, fortunately, I was there. We made an assessment, and we realized that this woman needed an emergency cesarean section. Uh, to save her and also save the baby. So we quickly referred a route to the nearest uh, district hospital, that's Wa Municipal Hospital. Myself, I was in the ambulance with my team because we couldn't let a woman go with one nurse. Uh, halfway or midway uh, uh, to Wa Municipal Hospital, the woman arrested. And so we tried all our best to resuscitate her and save her. That wasn't possible. Uh, Fortunately, uh, there was still some fetal heartbeat. I mean, when I say fetal heartbeat, there was still uh, some life in the baby. And then we did what we call a perimotem cesarean section. We did even a, a razor blade in an attempt to save the baby. The baby was successfully taken out. But because of the long uh, uh, distance travel uh, with the woman from the referral facility, uh, the oxygen that was in the ambulance got used up, and so we didn't have this to resuscitate the baby. Unfortunately, we lost the baby. And this was mainly because we didn't have uh, a theatre facility within the district. Probably, uh, if we had one closer, the referral would have been timely, and the intervention would have also been timely. So 
these these are just a few of the uh, difficulties and challenges mm. that uh, so are, are you are saying that right. is it that doctors are not posted there or when they are posted they don't turn up how how does this work so we've gotten a few postings when they are posted they come report and then when they see the nature of the police they go and they don't come back so the recent posting was uh, some uh, three months ago when the regional director of health uh, services in the upper west region tried to convince one of the doctors to take up posting in in, in the district he reported and unfortunately uh, he didn't come back so aren't there even like doctors from the area who you could lobby I mean, be because obviously the I mean the capital is Funsi. Uh, Why East has prominent people who are educated, and the other route you can use to even lobby citizens from Wa East to get their colleagues in. Because I'm sure there are people from that area in medicine all over the world, right? So I, I don't know. I, I mean, is it a, a, such a lost cause? Well, uh, Bernard, I, I wouldn't say it's, it's such a lost cause uh, because we've uh, uh, taken some moves. We uh, have tried to sponsor a few of uh, our staff to medical school, but these are long-term uh, moves. When they will be done, it's, 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 it's a question that uh, we, we are waiting to answer. Uh, also, what the inhabitants are doing is, uh, especially the, the chiefs and opinion leaders and also the district chief executive as well as the MP, uh, they have come out with some motivational package in order to be able to attract a doctor there. One is to, uh, to build uh, an accommodation facility and then furnish it uh, for the doctor who will be willing to come. And also some sort of uh, uh, allowances are in place. We have used this in attempt to sell out to uh, uh, doctors who have just completed uh, their their housemanship, uh, and uh, but then we, we we haven't received any favorable uh, results yet. So it is, I wouldn't say it's a dire situation. It's, it's it's a lost hope. We're still looking around. We're still trying to convince. Uh, potential doctors. And I must say that uh, with what you said, whether there are no doctors from that locality, in fact, there are doctors from that locality. The recent doctor that declined posting to that place is actually from the place where we wanted to station him. The recent doctor that declined the posting is from the district? It's from the district. Are you serious? Very serious. <sighs> Is, is are the living conditions that bad? I, I I know a bit about this because I remember a few months back there were complaints about the nature of roads. Indeed, there were complaints about the roads in the area not being good enough and things like this. You know, where for example, uh, the MP said that the government should reconsider why its roads in the EU World Bank funded project to boost agri. So I know there are problems, but is the district that deprived to the extent that? A doctor cannot live there? Well, uh, Bernard, I am a doctor and I'm living there, so I cannot say that uh, the, the district is so much deprived. Uh, yes, it's, it's deprived in a way, but it's not totally deprived to the extent that uh, we would say that a doctor cannot live there because I am living there myself and providing uh, services there. But I agree with you that the road network is very, very bad telecommunication uh, network is also very, very bad. We have about 146 communities, and 56 of these communities are hard to reach, hard to reach in terms of uh, uh, rivers transversing uh, these communities. And so when it's raining season, in fact, if you are at the farthest point, Holomuni, Kundungu, and the rest, it's difficult, it's difficult for you to come to Wa the regional capital because of uh, uh, the streams and rivers cutting you off. Wow. What is the predominant economic activity in the Wa East district? So they are mostly farmers. The indigents are mostly farmers, and you have farmers to coming in 
from other uh, uh, neighboring districts and other regions to settle there for farming purposes. All right, Doc, thank you. This is not the last you hear of me. We will come back to you and try and see if we can raise more attention to this. But thank you for the work you do. Dr. Kinsley Pascal Muin is the WA East District Director, 93,500 citizens, 10 health facilities, only one doctor. He's the district director in charge of the whole place. This is completely over wonderful. 20 chips compounds. So basically, he's one That's man crazy. overseeing the whole district in terms of healthcare.